an inheritance desired by many can become a true martyrdom, not only due to family conflicts, but because sometimes you don't know the origin of the things that are passed down to you. In this video, you will hear about the story of a young man who records the most terrifying experience of his life after receiving a disturbing inheritance from his deceased grandmother, a seemingly cursed object that is turning into his worst nightmare. His life now hangs by a thread in this horrifying case that you will discover in depth. My name is Leonore Clay, and this is The Darkest Secret. Today we present The Disturbing Case of Jacob. It was in August 2022 that Jacob, who owns this account, posted his first TikTok clip, a video that without much pretensions, showed a fragment of a conversation that people had regarding the mythology of jesters and clowns, a video without context that at first nobody understood. In the video, only this strange image is shown, and he describes the different types personalities, and designs that each jester in mythology has. As much as no one understood it, at least he lets us know that in his free time, Jacob dedicates it to something related to these clowns. After all, who would know so much about this type of thing? Perhaps it is due to his hobby that he named his channel The Clown Doll, a name that although it sounds a bit strange, matched what Jacob intended to show on his channel. In fact, this was the second video posted on his account. Examples of them. In the corner there is a little Betsy McCall doll. She too is a rare and hard to find 14 inch doll. She's affiliated with the McCall's patterns and McCall's actually put out patterns to make clothing for Betsy. This is a wonderful collection. Please stop by and view it at the Roscoe Antique Mall in South Beloit, Illinois. A normal clip, right? A normal video that would be uploaded by someone who wants to show the world their hobby, their passion. However, the videos that he uploaded focusing on the dolls did not attract anyone. Certainly, it is for a very specific group of people. The only comment he had gotten on his entire account was this. Until this point, the Clown Dolls 5's channel was just one of the hundreds of channels that remained forever lost in the abyss of the social network. And of course, its niche is very small. Only enthusiasts of these things found his videos. However, no one knew that the following footage would bring an abrupt change, of course. House I inherited from my grandmother. I'm speechless. These three clips are not without context. He informs us that his grandmother left him this property as an inheritance, a house obviously with a rather gloomy appearance, and in which, as he confesses, 
he did not receive good vibes from. He shows each of the rooms with his camera, thus drawing the attention of his growing followers, who ask him to continue recording every corner of this place. Until this moment, although it is true that Jacob's account showed disturbing activities, it did not go beyond random things. However, no one imagined that everything he had shown from the beginning was sinisterly linked. Jacob explains that the inheritance was not only the house, but it also implied to keep and maintain all the things that were inside it, including this. Grandmother's old house. She left it for me, and when I got here, I saw a bunch of cool stuff. And one of the best things is right behind here. Oh, yeah. I call him Jeffrey. Grandma left him for me, I guess. Real creepy. Kind of cute, though. A disturbing jester doll that unlike the rest of the house seemed to be very well cared for. For Jacob, this doll is not unknown because he says that his grandmother called him Jeffrey and that as a child he had already seen it when he came to visit his grandparents. A doll that despite the fact that he was always somewhat afraid of it, he was aware that it now belonged to him and that from that day forward he had to take care of it. This may seem strange to us, but you must remember that his taste for these things comes from somewhere. And apparently his grandmother or his entire family kept this as a hobby. For him, taking care of this doll was perhaps similar to the way you take care of your grandfather's collection of glasses or rings. While everyone was commenting on how disturbing this figure was, Jacob updates his channel by posting the following footage. I just heard knocking from the closet. Apparently, it was the first night that he stayed in the house, capturing an extremely terrifying experience, thus marking the beginning, according to his own words, of the most terrifying thing he has had to live through. Jacob is aware that he was home alone at all times, knowing that it is impossible for someone to play a prank on him just to scare him out of there, which is why this situation made it clear to him that Jeffrey was not just any doll, that incredible as it may sound, it seems to have some kind of curse, that something is possessing it, and that despite Jacob's obvious fear, he was willing to prove it. Doll is haunted and I have video evidence to prove it.
As you can imagine, this caused quite a stir on his account, not only because of the situation that Jacob experienced, but also because of the disturbing aspect that the face of Jeffrey presents. For the Easter festivities, he updates his channel again, saying that he keeps the doll isolated in a room far from his. Nevertheless, he continues to feel strange things in the house, a dense environment that at times becomes almost unbreathable, and that feeling of always being observed. A few days later, he publishes a new clip, assuring that Jeffrey had been locked in a room However, the next morning, he comes across this. Another update. You know, I think I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. And in general, I think I'm just scared. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement. So I'm going to follow up after I get that done. alone, and on one side of the stairs. How did he get there? To this day, Jacob doesn't know. However, the strangest thing was noticed by one of his subscribers, who noticed the presence of orbs. Can you see them? For this reason, and at the suggestion of his followers, he decides to install a camera facing the doll and left a recording all night. This generated great expectations among his followers, who at this point already numbered in the thousands, all extremely anxious to see the result of that recording. However, they never imagined that the next video would be another terrifying situation that Jacob recorded with his cell phone. The doll appears in the room next to his, something certainly very disturbing since he assures he had left it in the room furthest from his bedroom. However, what was also strange were those disturbing blows that at first are heard, noises that woke him up at dawn. Jacob is definitely not alone in this house. Due to this episode and determined to reveal the mystery, he moves the doll to the basement of the house and installs a camera on an air heater provided with oscillating movement, all to have a greater range of vision and thus be able to see what was happening, having Jeffrey alone there. This was the result 
of the first night. He says that seeing this gave him chills. Subscribers say to leave. It's not worth it. To burn the doll. But Jacob believes that those solutions, rather than improve things, could make it worse. Jacob uploads a new recording, clarifying that he changed the position of the doll and that he put it in front of the camera to see if his subscribers saw something strange in it. Throughout the duration of the video, Nothing seems to happen, despite the fact that many claim to see the doll breathing, moving, or even blinking. However, for most, nothing happens here. In the following footage posted on his account, Jacob warns that it was recorded a few days after the previous one. Footage captured at dawn, where the camera recorded this. Do you think the camera fell on its own? Although it is something that cannot be ruled out, Jacob affirms that he left it well secured. Also, if you look closely, it's like someone or something hit it with force. In certain comments, users claim that a shadow man can be seen in a corner. Do you see anything unusual? In the latest published footage, Jacob is dedicated to figure out what the hell is going on with Jeffrey because he does not know if the doll is cursed, if it is about some an entity that occupies it, or if perhaps his grandmother had something to do with this. Meanwhile, he continues to post disturbing footage shot from the basement. It says that the camera is provided with a frame that detects the presence of a person. It activates itself at night, but it is not the only thing. His followers warn of a second presence that the camera captures, a presence that seems to be in a corner of the basement. What is this due to? In the midst of the debate, Jacob posts what is so far the latest recording uploaded to his TikTok account.
As you can see, the green frame continues to appear. However, once Jeffrey falls, the camera frame focuses its attention on that dark corner, as if verifying that there is indeed something that can be seen. Another thing that catches my attention is that the camera sticks as if something were avoiding its movement. As the days progress, the phenomena increase in intensity, becoming more and more visible. So far, these have been the videos that he has posted on his account. Strange footage that keeps all his followers pending, who from the comment box speculate all kinds of theories and hypotheses that try to explain what is happening, not only with the doll, but also with the entire house that Jacob received as an inheritance from his grandmother. Will this situation continue to escalate? Will Jacob get to the bottom of all of this? Only time will tell. What do you think of this case? Let me know your opinion in the comment box, because this video has come to an end. My name is Leonora Clay, and this was The Darkest Secret.